Hello and welcome to this tutorial from ITTrap.com. This tutorial is all about slicing your PSD file to make an HTML document and therefore to make your website working well. Most of the time when you design a website or your graphic design design your website, he, he, he provides the PSD file to you and your job is to uh, either provide this PSD to another developer or to uh, make the HTML yourself, which is, I think is very easy. There are several ways to go about this, but the best way can be to make um, a div-based HTML. Um, this is a standard nowadays. However, I will teach you how to make this design in table-based HTML. Uh, and later on, I will teach you how to make it using divisions. So I have this boxed art uh, template uh, in here. And uh, the way you go about it is uh, in Photoshop, you start using your uh, rulers. Uh, the concept can be like this. Uh, you have a plain graphic and your job is to slide this graphic to, um, to uh, smaller objects that make sense. Uh, for example, uh, when you see this logo, Cancer Research, with this slogan, you want when people click on this logo, you want them to go to the ho home page. Uh, and you know when you click on the home about us uh, services those those are going to be links the uh, the picture of this girl in the middle is just a plain picture uh, to the right right hand side there is a picture here and some text so as you can see you will need to go uh, with the template uh, uh, and break it into parts to make it more functional in the web because this is the way how the web works the first step I'm going to do is to uh, slice my uh, ruler and um, put some guidelines to know where should I slice the uh, objects in my, um, in my template. I'm going to zoom in. Maybe we'll need to adjust the, uh, the ruler or the guide uh, color. I think you can right click and go, um, sorry. So I will grab the uh, the ruler again from Edit Preferences General. I think it's somewhere in um, Guides, and for the guide, change it to uh, black and hit OK. This is more obvious this way. So uh, let's keep moving. <coughs> Uh, make sure it's aligned perfectly. Uh, now, if you if you see, I have a logo, and to the right hand side, I have uh, these buttons. So, what I'm gonna do is to uh, you know put some limits to my logo, and um, let's say here because I want this part to be uh, clickable. Well, I I promise to do the most of this template, but uh, as I'm done uploading this video to YouTube. Uh, I might not have a lot of time, so I will be moving and uh, cover the uh, most of this template. And you can uh, keep the rest for you as um, an exercise. So, uh, this is the logo. What you need to do now is uh, to, s uh, to select from upper left corner towards the, uh, the guide's uh, limits and crop this area. Right, so uh, from the toolbox, select your crop tool and start cropping. Uh, for those of you who don't know what the guides do, uh, it can snap to uh, when you when you're cropping something. Uh, say as I'm moving the the mouse, it snaps towards the guidelines, and this is why we use it, so we can put the, the limits of the um, the object click enter now this is our logo uh, I will go to file save for web and devices now here's a quick tip when you have a, an object and you want to save it as an image if this object is uh, mostly text then it's preferably to save it as a GIF format otherwise it's, it's, uh, if it's an image uh, having some uh, you know like uh, people or cars and a lot of colors 
then you need to switch to JPEG. So in this case, I will keep it as GIF image. Uh, you can see it's 2K. We can go down the, uh, with the size. The way to determine this is you, you see in your uh, in your image how many colors you have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, around six colors. So uh, I think 16 will be fine. So nothing uh, was. Um, it's obvious it's the same. To see the difference. Go to two up. This is on the original, and this is the adjusted. Uh, you can go up again. 64 it's almost the same now you will see the difference so let's stick to um, 16 to keep the file is beneath uh, uh, low click save I go to um, to web template HTML uh, I click the uh, in the image images folder and I will call this logo now uh, go um, step backward to go back to your template make sure you keep saving now let me set up in the meanwhile um, the uh, the uh, the document for the HTML I have uh, Adobe Dreamweaver CL3 opens here what I have to do is to go to file a new select HTML go to design I, I, I'm supposing you're not a developer and in the title say something like uh, so the template is about cancer research so let's say it's cancer research click enter now uh, you need to save your page Control s and go to the same location do not go inside the images keep it up and call this index.html this is your page it's blank page you can preview it in Firefox. So you can see nothing here but the title since it's a blank document. Now, the first thing you need to do when you set up a site using um, table based design, you need to check your document in PSD and see the size of this document. So I go to image, image size and I can see it's 670 copy this value and go back to Dreamweaver so the first step to do when using uh, tables you need to put your layout inside a table go to insert table for the rows the rows is the horizontal rows while the columns is the vertical columns uh, if you check here you can see we have one um, we will go into more details with this, but uh, you can see the uh, the rows are like this. This is a row. This is another one. Until here, uh, every person can uh, split this in the way he likes. But let's for uh, let's for this start uh, starter put it as uh, four rows, and we can add more later. For the columns, since it's the upper, th this is the upper table. Keep it for one, one big column. And for the table width, insert the uh, the amount we copied earlier, and leave the the rest to zero, and click OK.